I'm okay. not talking. Okay. But, so anyway, I was helping this young girl who was moving from Huntsville to Birmingham from an abusive situation. She was pregnant. She had nobody here. And we've been looking. She was pre-qualified to buy 80000 okay? And there's not anything good to $80,000. But... Ansley. Well, we were looking... <laughs> We were looking in St. Clair County, Talladega County, um, some Shelby, but anyway, she stumbles across this listing that's on Cherokee. And um, she's like, what about this? And I'm like, I don't see it in MLS anywhere, but you know, let me look. So I went back into Zillow and I see, oh, it's listed by somebody that I know. This is a house in Talladega for 80000 okay? Wow. And so I, um, I just noticed that, well, okay, maybe it's just because that realtor is in Valley MLS and not Birmingham MLS, and they were just blending at the time. So I called that agent. I asked him if I could show his house. He said, sure, whatever. And then she liked it. We were going to make an offer on it. And I tried to call him back because I realized that the listing had been expired for two months. And so when I tried to call him, he didn't answer his phone again. Well, she really wants to buy the house and I'm assuming that the person who's selling it because it's empty wants to sell it, you know? So I track him down. Funny thing is, is that because of COVID, he was relocated for his job to Huntsville. My little girl was coming from Huntsville well, she had to be on a job locally for 30 days before they would be able to close her loan. She went into preterm labor five days before the 30 days was over. So she couldn't get the house. Well, then I worked really, really hard trying to get some more buyers in there. And at this point, like, I just want to help my little guy sell his house because he's a young man. The house has been in forbearance for months. He's this close to foreclosure and it'll ruin his credit. And I'm like, it's not all about the money. It really isn't. So I had a few people, I mean, I ran them in there. I was trying to sell that house so hard. And um, finally, a little um, guy from Vietnam, he owns a nail shop in Talladega. He really wanted to buy the house. He had so much money to put down, he needed to finance like 35, 40,000. Well, nobody would finance him because the closing costs were gonna exceed the allowable percentage to the amount of the loan. So I'm just like, dang, you know, I don't know what's going on. I don't know how we're gonna do this. But now I have to stop in my track a minute. When I was, then I was teaching one of my agents, this is how you use MLS and you can go back and you can find the status of the house. And I typed in Cherokee and I saw expired and I clicked you when I meant to click the one above. And so then I was like, well, here's another teaching opportunity. And so I looked your phone numbers up and then I don't know, maybe I called Malin first, then I called you then, and you guys just kind of left me hanging. But you know, I. I um, became friends with you guys on Facebook and just kind of just went about life. And um, the day that you text me that you were ready to list, my little Vietnam guy called me and said, I've scraped up all the cash and we can close on the house. <sighs> and I'm like, oh, wow. Because yeah. literally no, probably five minutes after he called me, you texted me. Whoa. Mm hmm Yeah. Well, see, you know, I called. And I did not make a dime on that. I paid $500, <clears throat> you know. But it's, it's more about giving back. And I feel like if you do your part, man, God will just bless you. That's true. A hundred right. times over. Very true. So. Oh, that's awesome. But. Yeah, I thought I'd share that story yeah, with you, how it. I met well, you guys. Yeah. <laughs>